7,000 people in Massachusetts were tested for the coronavirus yesterday, and 11% of those tests came back positive. Governor Baker wants to increase testing statewide, and several new drive through testing sites open today. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Bridgewater with the latest on that. Beth? Well, this is the drive through at the CVS as the pharmacy is now adding to the state's testing capacity. It is do it yourself by appointment only. But for many people who feel they have symptoms, it's now become one of their options. It's a testing program that took off on its first day. This CVS drive through in Bridgewater already crawling with cars and customers with appointments. I did it at 4 o'clock this morning when I took the dog out, and there's no more available for today. She's concerned about lingering symptoms from a pneumonia diagnosis. And this customer is convinced he's already had COVID-19. Well, I couldn't breathe. I had all the symptoms. But January 7th, no one knew what they were. The drive through testing, now available at nine CVS sites across the state, is part of Governor Baker's plan to ramp up testing as part of the state's reopening strategy. Epidemiologist Dr. Shara Doran sees the benefits. Not having the, the um, doctor, nurse, uh, tech, or whoever, have to lean into the face of the person who might have COVID-19 is certainly safer. Uh, than the alternative. Customers have to stay in their cars, administer their own nasal swab under the direction of a pharmacist, secure the test in a bag, and return it through a drawer. How nervous are you that you could potentially have the virus? 50-50, um, because, because my age as well. Dr. Doran says it's getting needed tests to people, and the drive through nature of it shouldn't mean it's any less accurate. So there are so many points at which um, the, the, the test could fail to be as sensitive as we would want it to be, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't keep doing our tests. Now, these results come back in about two to four days. Governor Baker has said he wants as many as 75,000 tests a day across the state by the end of the year. Reporting live from Bridgewater, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth, thank you. With